Mr. Speaker, I rise today in sadness to pay tribute to my predecessor here in Congress, Tom Manton. In politics as in life, you can only achieve greatness by building on the path that, th that those before you have taken. Tom was a mentor to me, a friend, a confidant. Tom Manton truly loved serving here in this institution with his friends on both sides of the aisle. I will truly miss his friendship and our city and our state of New York will miss his leadership. My condolences go out to his wife, Diane, and to all his children and his grandchildren on the passing of their husband, their father, and their grandfather. Tom Manton was born in New York City in 1932. He was the son of a working class Irish immigrants. His father actually worked here on Capitol Hill as a plasterer, laying plaster in the Longworth building. He often talked about that historical note. He'd often say, only in America can a son of someone who built the halls of Congress one day serve in the halls of Congress. Tom Manton went on to law school at the University of St. John's, where he got his law degree. But before that, he was a police officer, a computer salesman, and after law school, was elected to the New York City Council in 1969, representing parts of what are still parts of today's 7th Congressional District that I have the honor of serving in. In 1986, after the death of Donald Manis, Tom Manton stepped up and filled the role as chair of the County of Queens Democratic Party. When our party in Queens was at its lowest ebb, Tom Manton took the reins of control and brought back the image of Democrats in Queens County and in New York City and New York State. He instilled discipline from time to time, which is part of the role of a county leader, but he worked to make the party the preeminent political party, not only of New York City and New York State, but many would argue of our nation today. Presidential candidates from Mike Dukakis and Dick Gephardt and Fritz Mondale, Bob Kerry, Bill Clinton, John Kerry, all s sought his support and the support of Queens Democrats to help propel them to higher office. And in the instance of Bill Clinton successfully helping to make him president of the United States. But Tom has helped elected, has, has helped elected officials uh, at every level uh, achieve their goals. Uh, the first of firsts in many respects, the first Indian American political leader in Queens County under his, his tutelage, the first Bangladeshi Muslim American political, political leader under his tutelage, the first Latina from Queens to the New York State Assembly, the first openly gay political leader, the first woman as borough president, and the first African woman, African American woman as borough president. And the list goes on and on. Tom was, has always had the bug for Congress and ran in 1972 against then incumbent James Delaney. He lost that election in 19, uh, he lost that election, but he also ran again in 1978 against Geraldine Ferraro. Once again, he lost, but he didn't let that keep him down. When Geraldine Ferraro was tapped by Walter Mondale to run as his running mate in 1984, Tom took the opportunity to run again and finally won that seat. In Congress, Tom was committed to fighting for his district. He was an inside political player who earned a seat on the Committee on Energy and Commerce. He fought tenaciously uh, through his committee for the interest of New York, bringing countless jobs and federal resources to his district. And one of his major accomplishments was the establishment of the Ad Hoc Committee on Irish Affairs, which he used as a forum to represent one of the largest communities of Irish American immigrants in the United States. As co-chair of the committee, he worked closely with President Clinton to urge him to grant a visa to Jerry Adams, and thus began the peace process that led to the Good Friday Agreement in Northern Ireland. As a friend and a mentor, I I have to say, in addition to being a caring husband, grandfather, and father, Tom was a dear friend to many. 
1984, my Uncle Walter Crowley uh, uh, ran uh, against Tom Manton in that open primary seat that I spoke of earlier. I worked very hard for my Uncle Walter in that campaign, and I remember vividly the heartbreaking loss that my uncle endured and that I felt myself. Uh, Tom Manton was an unspoken name in our household. It was a bad word. You couldn't say that name. Uh, but not long after that, Tom Manton tapped me on the shoulder at the County Cork Association dance on Greenpoint Avenue, and he said to me, how would you like to be the next assemblyman from the 30th Assembly District? Why don't you think about getting in that primary? And I did. I won a seven-way primary with his support and under his tutelage. And in 1998, I was proud to succeed him here in Congress as the congressman from the 7th Congressional District. I know how proud Tom was to serve in Congress. I know how proud I am of the work th that he did here. And I'm proud to succeed him here in Congress to this day. It's not a day that I am not grateful for the opportunities that Mr. Manton, that Tom Manton, uh, created for me and for my life. To Tom's wife, Diane, to his four children, uh, Kathy Manton Laurent of Schenectady, uh, Tom Manton of London, John Manton of Woodside, Queens, and uh, Jeannie of Astoria, and to his four grandchildren, Nicole, Mark, Danielle, and Liam Henry. Incidentally, Liam Henry, Tom would always remind me, is the same name of my son. It's a coincidence that he and I would share that as well. It was uh, something that uh, in this last year, uh, particularly, he would always point out to me and, um, and brought a chuckle to him and to me as well. Uh, I want you all to know uh, that Tom, uh, your granddad, your father, and your husband uh, is in our thoughts and in our prayers. Uh, but more importantly, Diane, uh, you and your children and your grandchildren are in all the prayers of the members of Congress on both sides of the aisle. Uh, I have to say, uh, for the record, uh, I love Tom Manton. And uh, he's not the kind of guy you would say that to. I'd have to say it to him. He knew it. But there was an unspoken language between the two of us. Uh, he knew I felt about him, and I certainly knew how he felt about me. He showed it in so many, many ways. I will miss my, uh, my good friend, my mentor, uh, Tom Manton, uh, as I know um, his law partners will, as his community will, uh, and uh, uh, his legacy will live on in so many people, uh, but especially in this member of Congress. And with that, I yield back the